Yeah, yeah, it's DJ Khaled, and this is Billboard.com. Sweet the best. It's why I'm CMB. You know what it is. Billboard.com. Salute. Hey yo, check this out, it's DJ Khaled My album is in stores right now uh, I want to thank everybody for making I'm On One The number one record in the country We're going to have a few number ones off this album uh, This album is a special album It's my fifth album, I think it's my biggest album Growth wise, because all my albums to me are classics And this one is just, you can see the growth of me Growing as an artist and growing with music You know, um and touching different stuff I haven't touched before. So this album is a classic. Shout out to Billboard. Um, I live at Billboard. You check the charts. I've been there for seven years straight. Thank you. Apologize if I say anything I don't mean. This record has a special story because uh, I've been trying to get Drake to uh, do a verse on my album for it took me like a whole full year. In a good, positive way, nothing negative. It's, uh, just, you know, his schedule and um, his creative process to get things, um, you know, done. And, and actually, you know, Drake was uh, heavily involved. Actually, uh, you know, you know, he blessed me, you know what I'm saying? And uh, as well as Ross, Lil Wayne, and, and just the whole team. So it's a special record, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to my hood, uh, uh, another special record uh, produced by the Renegades and myself, as well as um, Nasty, um, we came together and made that track. We wanted to make a sequel to I'm So Hood um, that I made like four or five years ago, because um, the streets always said, Cal, man, make another I'm So Hood, make another I'm So Hood. So what I did was made another I'm So Hood, but we called it Welcome to My Hood and, and added Wayne and and Plies and Ross and T-Pain and it's a street anthem it's one of them street records that just un undeniable you know what I'm saying you got a bobby head and it's give, give you that mean mug face you know what I'm saying money money is a, a hot record man you know uh, uh, me Jeezy and Ludacris and it's produced by Lex Luger uh, Ludacris uh, flipped the topic in a different way and went on a whole nother level with it and then you know Jeezy straight hustler you know kept it so hood and gully you know it's just one of them tracks that uh motivates the hustlers you know what I'm saying you know it's about getting money it's about just hustling hard you feel me you know the streets gonna love that I'm thugging, I'm thugging, I'm thugging. I'm thugging is gonna be the new tear the club up record um you know, it got me, Ace Hood, and Waka Flock on it, and produced by Lex Luger. This record is like, uh, the minute it come on in the club, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna fuck the whole place up. It's just gonna, you're gonna need security in that club, heavily. Special records, uh, each record on my album, is like a hit. Each record is a hit in its own way. It ain't over till it's over, um... Mary J. Blige, DJ Khaled, Fabulous, and Jada Kiss, all on one record. If you love hip hop and you love R&B, it's an undeniable hit record. Um, and I'm actually about to world premiere of the video. So, and you know, it's my first time working with Mary J. Blige, and that's the queen. Um, so it's a, you know, it's a big record. It's a hit. Uh, working with Mary's been amazing. Um, uh, on my album, it was an amazing process working with her, as well as, um, you know, uh, me and the Runners did a track for her on her album. That's crazy too. So it opened doors, and um, our relationship is real good. And shout out to Ken Do and the whole Mary J. Blige team. Legendary, probably one of my favorite records on the album, uh, because I feel like it's gonna be one of them records that's gonna win a Grammy. It's uh, me, Chris Brown, Keisha Cole, and Neo, produced by Nasty Beatmakers, co-produced by myself. Um, this record right here is so inspirational, motivational. I feel like uh, this is going to be one of them records that's going to be talked about forever. It's one of them timeless records. Um, and then just the collaboration with Neo, Keisha Cole, and Chris Brown on one record is like, that don't happen. You know what I'm saying? Sleep When I'm Gone is one of them big, epic, cinematic records. You know, just working with CeeLo Green is just amazing. You know what I'm saying? And then you got Buster Rhymes and Game. 
that are, are, are spitting some real life story, not story, real life, real life stuff, you know what I'm saying, and then of course Danger on the track, you know what I'm saying, so like, um, it's just special, it's just epic, epic. Shout out to Birdman on Can't Stop Birdman, T Pain, and Boy Wonder on the track. I really love this track because uh, it's that vintage Birdman, that vintage cash money. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he's just talking that talk on there. And the beat is crazy. And then Pain, um, when I got with Pain, you know what I'm saying? You know, I told him I wanted him to sing the hook like there's so much pain, like emotions. And um, he did exactly what I asked him to do. And the track is a classic track, and the hood's gonna eat that like crazy. Yeah, Big Sean, Ace Hood, Meek Mills, uh, Vado, and Wale all on one track. I call it the future because I feel like these are the young guys that's um, coming up in the game and they putting out hit records and they hustling and they doing a great job. And I feel like they all need to be on one track and there's no hook. Everybody's having fun spitting some bars. Um, you know, Big Sean got his own style and Ace Hood got his own style. Meek and Wale and Vado. It's just one of them uh, hip hop records that hip hop will appreciate. My Life with Akon and B.O.B. was produced by the team, um, actually my engineer and uh, my mix engineer, Lou Diaz. When I heard the track, um, I just felt like I needed to put Akon on there. I mean, Akon had always made great records, and I felt like it needed to be one of them records where, you know, like, it's just talk about, like, you know, just the, uh, the struggle, just the life, just, just you know, and Akon, is, he does that well with his tone of his voice. And I wanted to put B.O.B. because I felt like the track was calling for his, his vocals with the guitars, and, um, and I think the topic, you know, it made sense. And I've been following B.O.B. and I respect the story because a lot of people slept on him when he first came out. And then, you know, he showed him and ended up being, you know, you know one of them big, uh, selling artists and have number one records and, and, and touch different genres of music so I have to respect them um, and I think it's a great record for all type of people can like it. it's a different you know hip hop uh, rock and roll people will like it everybody will like it a million lights in the a million lights I love it because it's the young money camp and um, it's dope because it's a, uh, a, a record we sampled between the Runners and Monarch, um, and we had Kevin Rudolph sing the hook. We found a sample, and it was like some rock record, and we wanted Kevin Rudolph to sing the hook, and he re sang the hook, and I just felt like it had that bounce that Young Money has. And um, It's a fun record, and I think uh, Tiger and Corey Guns and Mac Main and Jay Mills, I think they, they, they made it into like a hit record, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's, the title explains that, Million Lights. The remix of Welcome to My Hood was me basically letting everybody know, don't play with me. You know what I'm saying? Meaning as in, you know, I do this. I could have, you know, you know, I was just me in the studio saying, you know what? I'm going to make a remix and I'm going I'm to put this guy on it, this guy on it. There's too many to name. It's like 100 people on one record. And I actually had to stop myself because uh, it just kept getting so long. But, you know, and it just showed how everybody that got love for the hood and spit amazing bars and then i got a chance to speak my, my my mind on the record as well on some verse tip but um it's a classic man that's that goes in the historical books of remixes 